Hmm, we were just there when the building, we didn't hear anything. We just bra, we, we were on the ground. Joshua Kankam is a 28-year-old fireman. He has been in the fire service for four years. Joshua is currently battling for his life after a building collapsed on him, along with three other colleagues while thousand and Infeno at Westland in West Legon on Wednesday, January 24, this year. I can't even straighten it. Like, you don't straighten it? Uh -huh. I can't. So, I'm up to a storm. So Joshua I'm recounts his harrowing experience, emphasizing that without their helmet, he and his colleagues might not have survived. First week I was discharged. Uh, like, if, if you picture the scene, like, you just be, you just be then be crying, like, why did this happen to you? The doctors are saying that right now the wound is healing slowly, so they are recommending skin grafting. This incident underscores the hazards faced by firefighters whenever duty calls. In our case, our um, helmets, the straps were torn. We were wearing the helmet, then just comes off. You have to, you can't focus on fighting the fire, so every one minute you have to hold, be holding the helmet so it's just uncomfortable so and um, looking at the situation no one expected the building to collapse, collapse. so um, when we went then looking at the situation then I called for the helmet that we should just wear the helmet just in case unfortunately the plight of personnel in the Ghana National Fire Service seems to have been largely ignored a visit to several fire stations in the capital revealed that many fire attenders are non-functional. At the fire service headquarters, two out of three fire tenders were faulty. The fire tender in Medina was also out of commission, leaving the Adenta fire station as the only one with a working tender along the route from Medina to Ebri through to Dodowa. Legon's fire tender was also out of commission. The fire tender stationed at Parliament House has been relocated to Abilinkpi, leaving several key areas, including Parliament House, the Conference Center, Accra Sports Stadium, and Independence Square without fire coverage. Additionally, the Fire Service National Training School lacks a fire tender and an ambulance, similar to other fire stations visited. The few operational fire tenders are aged, with some showing signs of rust at the Greater Accra Regional Office. All fire tenders were out of commission during our visits, although some were being worked on by local mechanics. Safety gear, such as safety boots and breathing apparatus, are insufficient. The public relations officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, Assistant Chief Fire Officer Timothy Osafo Ifun, explained why some fire stations are without fire tenders. All the stations are fire tenders. But the fact on the ground is that um, they are old, so they break down frequently. But as and when they break down, they are repaired. Um, I must also indicate that because they are old, it depends on the part that is out of service. It may take some time before uh, they are restored. He expressed hope that new ones would be acquired. Government uh, has stepped in to provide us with fire um, Tenders. Um, as at the last time I checked, it was at a value for money auditing. A former chief fire officer, Dr. Albert Brown Gazi, emphasized the urgent need for more attention to be given to the National Fire Service. I would wish that um, some further attention is focused on the welfare of the firemen. At the time that I was leaving office, most of the Metropolitan municipal fire stations did not have vehicles. In 2023, a total of 5,219 fire cases were recorded nationwide, highlighting the pressing need to equip the National Fire Service adequately. Joseph Armstrong, Gold Alobi, TV3, Accra.